ignore my funny face. Come back. That was not gonna happen. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup tutorial. So before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, and like this video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Also follow my Instagram and TikTok, which will be on the screen now. So the first thing I do to my makeup routine is concealer. So the concealer I use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. And I'm just going to apply some of that underneath my eyes and on the outer edges of my eyes. And like I pull that weird face because like it gets in the corner of your eye better if I go like that. So you'll have to ignore my funny face. So I'm just putting a bit of concealer on my chin and then I'm going to put some on my forehead. If I'm looking forward that's because my mirror is forward but yeah. I'm going to leave that to dry for a few seconds and then I'm going to take this brush which has had better days. This is just the Olivia Hall one. It's uh, just a foundation brush. I got this from my like Combos or something but it's really good and I use this for literally everything. So I'm just going to start with blending my chin so I can let this sit a bit better to make a bit more full coverage. And then once I've blended it in on my head and my chin, I'm going to blend it in underneath my eyes. So now all my concealer is blended, I'm going to use a bit of strobe cream. So you're going to have to ignore the state of this bottle. I don't use this all the time but sometimes if I remember after my concealer I'll use strobe cream. This is just the Revolution Strobe Cream and it works really well. So I get a bit of that and I just put it on the back of my hand like that. And then I will put my finger in and kind of put it on the areas you would usually highlight. So the cream contour stick I use is the So Su one and I use it in the shade Warm. So I'm going to take that same brush that I used to blend in my concealer and what I do is I just like get the contour stick like this and I kind of like tap the brush on it and then I'll get all this product on and then what I'll do is, is I'll pat it off in the of my hand because I wear very natural makeup so I don't want my contour to be like too much. So that I'll like have that much on and I'll kind of like put it in my cheekbones, my jawline and like here on my head. As we can see I just feel like cream contour is very like natural compared to like powdered bronzer and contour. So now I'm going to move on to blush. This is the blush I use, the Love At First Blush by Soap and Glory. Then I just take this random brush, this is just like a Studio London one, but it's like meant for blush, so I use it. And then I put like loads of on, and then I just like tap it off, and then I put it on my cheeks. I love this blush because it's like very natural, which is obviously like the look I kind of go for. And sometimes I feel like I've got a bit too much blush brush today, I don't really feel like. I will just take like either a powder or a bronzer brush and I'll you know, just blend it in so it like blends a bit better. Now normally I would do mascara and I would use the Soap and Glory one. So now I'm going to take the Thick and Fast Soap and Glory mascara, but I've already got mascara on so I would normally do that. But first I would normally curl my eyelashes but I'm still going to curl my eyelashes now. So this is my eyelash curl, I think it's from Home Bargains, yeah it's from Home Bargains and I'm just literally going to that and just curl my eyelashes. Normally I put like two good mascara on and I'll curl my eyelashes like in between coats so I'll curl my eyelashes mascara then curl my eyelashes then more mascara on then curl my eyelashes. You might think it's a bit obsessive um but how I like it because then my eyelashes go like this and I think it's pretty pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put some Vaseline in my eyebrows. You might think that's a bit weird but 
I don't think it's that weird. So my eyebrows can really depend on the day. I can sometimes do my soap brows, sometimes I'll just leave them, sometimes I'll put like a little bit of product in to darken them, or like today I'll just put some Vaseline in them, or I'll just completely leave them. So what I'll do is I'll take my Vaseline, this is like the aloe vera one, and I'll just put it in my eyebrows, like so. It's pretty self-explanatory, put my Vaseline in your eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna brush them out. Sometimes I will brush them out, sometimes I will. Just depends. As you can see, it just looks a lot better. My nose is really red here, so I might put some concealer on off my glasses. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on that spot. And whilst that concealer is setting in to be a bit more full coverage, I'm just going to move on to lips. So I've literally got so many different lip combinations, but in every lip combination, that was not there. So like I was saying, and like I have so many different lip combinations, but every lip combination has this, which is the Primark Lip and Lip Liner and Lip Crayon Pencils. So this is obviously the crayon, and this is obviously the liner. Um, so I would either use this to lip line my lips and then I will put some of the Revlon Ultra HD lip colour, I think it's called, yep, and this is in the shade Devormand, Devor, I don't know how to say it, Devormand I think it is, and it's just this colour, or I will just use this in some Vaseline which I'm going to do today. So I like to kind of like keep the shape of my natural lips. But I like overline my tan a little bit. So that's basically what I do for my lip liner. Then back in with the aloe vera Vaseline, and then I'm just going to apply this to my lips. And I'm going to quickly blend this in. So that is my everyday makeup tutorial i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you subscribe down below hit the notification bell and like this video and thank you for watching bye